Hi, this is Jeffrey, and today I wanted to show you one of my Corgi Original Omnibus Trolleybus models. This is an AEC 6641T from Cardiff Corporation during the war. So this represents a prototype of a Cardiff Trolleybus that operated during the years of, let's say, 1939 to 1945. And this is Corgi's model number 43702. Now, like most uh, Corgi original omnibus models, it does come in a, come in a hard uh, see-through plastic case. And so, with that, let's take a closer look at the details of this very interesting little model. Now, I had bought this model uh, over 20 years ago. I purchased it from... Hattons in Liverpool, England. It was one of their bargain priced models. So they had a number of models that they were selling very, very cheaply. I think I paid probably not more than like four or five dollars for it when translated into US dollars. And the shipping was pretty cheap. And I had bought a number of models from them at that time. Uh, I don't think they sell models uh, like this so cheaply anymore. But at the time they did. And I'm glad I had bought what I did from them. Now, what drew me to this model is, first of all, it's a trolley bus. So anything uh, that is a trolley bus is going to be an interesting and somewhat unusual model. What I also liked about it is that it's a uh, wartime model in a wartime paint scheme. I really like this uh, light gray. It's, it's, it's a flat paint job. It's not glossy. It's in flat uh, wartime gray with black pinstriping. Very, very simple. Very, very simply done. Uh, I guess you know during the war they didn't have you know colored paints, uh, so nice paints were you know very, very hard to come by uh, during the war, which was in in Europe. It was from 1939 to 1945, but I would say probably a little later than 1939. Uh, that was when the transport uh, systems in Britain were painting their buses, trolley buses and trams into wartime paint schemes. So let's take a little bit more look at the details of this very nice model. Now the paint job on this model isn't uh, all that bad. It's actually kind of good. It is a little bit thick in some places, but uh, if you don't look at it too closely, it, it looks pretty decent. So it's a pretty decently done paint job, especially the pinstriping. That is done very, very well. Uh, and also the way the uh, vents are applied in paint on uh, the side of the bus above those three windows is also done very, very well. What I also like uh, about this model is the advertisements. As you can see on this side of the bus, on the, on the near side, it's for Hancock's Amber Ale, the drink of the day. And that is very crisply done. It's, it's very nice. Now, under the advertisements on those two last windows, we have these two instructions, <laughs> or, or, you know, ad, not advertisements, but these are instructions to passengers, and let's see what they say. On the one on the left, it says, CCT trolley bus routes, one penny fare only. And on the next one on the right, it says, pay as you enter. Have your penny ready. Please, no change given. So that I like. I That that is really, really well done. Uh, when I saw that, I, I had a good laugh that, uh, uh, you know, the fare is just one penny. So that is, is really kind of nice. Now, looking at the trolley wire detail on the roof, uh, these trolley poles are plastic, and the detailing is, you know, pretty decent. Uh, it's nothing spectacular, but it's nice that uh, it's done in black while it contrasts with the gray paint scheme. So here we have the front of the bus with its very well-applied 
destination sign for the number six to Cathedral Road and Clarence Road. Uh, it has separately applied mirrors and that windshield wiper on the driver's side is actually separately applied. It's not uh, molded onto the window and painted as you often see on models like this. So that's a very nice uh, little detail. Also, the headlights are uh, painted in a slightly different gray color than the rest of the model. It may be a little bit difficult to tell with a black outline. And you can see you, we have very well applied vents and the license plate as well. Now, here's a view of the off side of the trolley bus. Now, one of the issues that I have here that I've noticed is that the structural framing does not line up uh, at the back of the bus. This, this, these two members and these two as well. Uh, so that's a little bit of a quality control issue, but you know, it's, it's, it's not that terrible. It's not that bad. So here we have the back of the bus, which is actually done, it's done pretty well. I don't really have any issues with the rear part of this trolley bus. Now, what I also wanted to try and show is the interior details. The seats are actually done pretty well. Uh, they're in like a, a light brown color and it is molded so that there is some sort of a grab on the top of the seats, which is a nice little det detail that you do often find in these original omnibus models. Now what I also wanted to show is how well the crest is applied. It is just done very very well. It's very crisp, very clear, as well as the lettering for Cardiff Corporation Transport. It's in a gold lettering with a black shadow and it's just done very very nicely and it just adds to the overall uh, look of the bus. So I hope you enjoyed this look at my Corgi original omnibus trolleybus model from Cardiff Corporation during wartime. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.